Hey there, welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we're doing a review of the new Logic album. This one is called Supermarket, and um, yeah, it's pretty bad. If you haven't already heard from many other critics and fans, um, this one is getting a lot of hate, and uh, I might be a little harsh at times, so if you are a, a big fan of Logic, um, just be aware of that. Now before I basically tear this album apart, I would also like to say that I really appreciate um, Logic for kind of stepping out of his comfort zone to write an album that is rooted in alternative rock. And no matter how simplistic or basic the the playing on this project is, um, I, I know from personal experience as being a, a musician, it takes a while to hone your craft and um, Switching from rap to alternative would be a pretty f hard feat to do. Without further ado, let's jump into the track list here. We get a, a, a song that opens up the project. It's called Bohemian Trapsody, an obvious play on the words Bohemian Rhapsody, the Queen song. I'll start with the positives. There really is only one here. Um, I do admire the, the beat switch up towards the end of the track. It kind of puts to bed this painfully repetitive first half. However, this song um, is just very cliched in its lyrics and I feel like that plagues a lot of this record. The next song, Can I Kick It, is an ode to a tribe called Quest Song. Um, however, the guitar is massively out of tune and instead of being an ode um, to a tribe called Quest, I just feel like it's more of a, a bastardization. The vocals on here from Judo are grating and the bridge vocals provided by Logic are atrocious, like really among the worst that I've heard this year. Time Machine is the next track. It's got this lifeless piano performance. Uh, we get some basic power pop chord progressions. Again, the, the playing just has a lot of missteps and the rhythm and timing is just way off. In addition to that, the bass just sounds like it was mixed on, on GarageBand. It's like they didn't even bother buying anything in terms of filters or just something to give it a boost in the EQ. And then we get this awkward cut off transition into the next track, Pretty Young Girl. And man, the problem with Pretty Young Girl, I just feel like it's just pandering in its lyrics. It, the songwriting is half-assed from Logic. It's like he's reaching at thin air, uh, just hoping that he would grab something meaningful, and he just ended up with dog poop in his hand. I mean, it also doesn't help that Six's instrumentation on here, he plays a lot of the guitars and piano and all the, the live instrumentation on here. It doesn't help that he he's just got the skills of like a, a high school student and not a high school student that is good in any way. They're still trying to work out the kinks and the strumming and just basic playing of piano. And yes, I know I would suck at piano. I, I haven't played ever really in my lifetime, but um, I, I, I think Logic being such a big name, you think he'd be able to afford um, reaching out to better session players. On the self-titled track here, Supermarket, I feel like we get more of a uh, underwhelming and basic acoustic guitar, as if Pretty Young Girl wasn't already bad enough. All I could think about during this song, though, is uh, imagining this girl's reaction to hearing this song, especially if the lyrics are about Logic not being a stalker, even though he clearly is. And as the girl that Logic would be chasing after, um, I'm sitting in her mind thinking that um, I'd be more terrified and appalled because of the crappy quality of this song, not just because of his personality, but like just how bad this song is. From there, the next track, Baby, um, has more basic piano uh, chords kicking it off. Then we get the same dry and dead, very lifeless acoustic guitar. I mean, for once, there's actually an interesting flow from Logic on here, um, but I feel like the scaffold and the foundation of the instrumentation really does him a disservice. The singing isn't as bad on this song. I mean, there's plenty of worse ones. It's one of the more enjoyable tracks. Um, by no means a highlight in terms of the music landscape of 2019, but relatively speaking for this project, it's, it's a highlight. And at this point of the album with the next track by the bridge, I feel like we've gotten the same acoustic guitar strumming pattern that I'm ready to give up on listening to the rest. On By the Bridge, the guitar solo is odd, it's misplaced. Uh, the pitch bends are the only alluring part to it, but it's again very basic for something that is being done for an artist that is as well known as Logic. Moving on from there, the next cut, Best Friend, lyrically embodies the generic trash that this album 
is like literally it checks off the box of every kind of lyrical cliche you could possibly think of the entire song is just a, a cliche of being friends or lovers with someone the guitar playing is stagnant it's repetitive the bass is so pointless the audio quality is also extremely lo-fi and not even done in a, a, a creatively interesting way. And one last note about the guitar playing on the outro of this song, I feel like the timing and rhythm was botched yet again. The strumming is very inconsistent and I feel like they've recorded it in one take and they just, uh, they just accepted it blindly. Now onto the next song, Lemon Drop. I'm not even going to bother complaining about it because I, I think it's such a, a bad song that it just speaks for itself. Next track, I'm probably going to rock your world. Yeah, as if Logic, you're not going to rock my world with any of these songs on here. If Logic had to perform this album in order for me to be like seduced in any way if I were a girl, um, yeah, I would be so turned off. And that's when we move on to the next track. And this one, I, I feel bad for Mac DeMarco. Um, I don't know how he got roped into producing uh, the next song, Vacation From Myself. Like, I feel like he, he provides the best production on this entire project and we get like, um, actually spacious kind of sounds. We get some warped keyboard sounds that are on here, but they end up being more grating than anything else. And on top of this, the song's lyrics are so true. I feel like Logic, um, has spoken the truth. He says he doesn't want saturation. He wants a vacation from himself. Like, yes, when when does that start? Can, can it be sooner rather than later? On the penultimate track, we get a song that's called DeLorean. And all I can say about this is the, the singing is, is echoed with a nauseating effect. Again, I will positively say that the, the instrumentation is finally being produced in a way that you know isn't cheap or like used with garage band and then on the final track i love you forever i cringed with the tom york creep reference the climactic closing sentiments of this album just rub me the wrong way like the guy gets the girl after being so desperate after being so petty and yeah maybe i, I should take that into consideration when I, I talk to to whoever i'm trying to seduce but not really um if you try to pick up a girl or a guy whatever your preference is um I, I just feel like if you play any of the songs from this Logic release, um, you would get rejected so hard. Anyways, with all that being said, I'm feeling a 1 out of 10 on this project. I hate to be so cruel, but like, there's no enjoyment that I got out of this project. It will be one of the worst of the year, and it will be pretty hard to do worse than this. So yeah, sound off down below in the comments. Leave a like if you did like the video, if you like hearing me talking about logic in a, in a harsh way. I really don't like talking about artists in that way. I don't mean it to be a personal attack against them. So yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new in town, share this with your friends, tell me what I should review next, and as always, have a rockin' day.